Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from TheWorkoutCorner.com and you know what today is. It is a great day for working out. Welcome to another episode of Mind Food Monday where each week I pick the top three questions from the comment box below and winner of best question gets free access to my 80-20 course which is everything you need to know about getting the body you want, nothing you don't. So with that being said, oh actually, and I'm here as you can tell with Jackie. I'm in New York City and Jackie is a registered dietitian so when it comes to nutrition she knows everything. And we are going to dive into, we picked a couple of questions, and we're, so we're going to dive into some nutrition questions here for you. All right, so the first question we had here is great. It was on eggs. I actually sent out an email um, to all the guys on the email list talking about how eggs are a great protein for your body because your body can use you know all of it. It's, it's got a great breakdown. Um, and so the question here, you know, Jackie, is in your opinion, you know, what, are you, what are your thoughts on eating the whole egg, the yolk, or the white? Because you see that kind of all over the place on the Internet. Yeah, I definitely think eating um, the whole egg is the best way to go because mm -hmm. it's got um, all the essential amino acids. Um, it also has uh, B12, which is only found in certain things, um, mostly animal products. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, definitely eat the whole egg. Um, in terms of cholesterol, if you're keeping an eye on that, you don't want to have uh, an egg every day or more than an egg a day. Um, but a few times a week is absolutely fine. Cool. All right, next up, Gunnerman says, let's see, I am a high schooler who's recently started lifting weights, and I know that eating smaller, more frequent meals is healthier than the standard three. That is correct. Good. Let's see, but what I don't know, all right, so if you have nothing healthy to eat, and it's been two or three hours since you last ate, should you eat the non-healthy food? I guess in this case, maybe if it's like a candy bar, or should you skip it and go for, you know, four or five hours without eating? Do you have a... An input on there on that well I guess I'd want to know like what kind of unhealthy food they're eating but like let's say it's a candy bar mm -hmm. or maybe it's a Big Mac or something like that mm -hmm. um, you know if you're doing this every once in a while and you're eating really healthy the rest of the time you know like maybe 80% of the time mm -hmm. then that's all right um, but I wouldn't you know say to do that all too often because it's gonna catch up with you for sure right. um, and just you know keep snacks around you know yeah pack Pack some, you know, nuts, some dried fruit, um, a yogurt. Um, that way, you have that kind of stuff on hand. Yep. You know, there's lots of great to-go snacks. Right. So. Yeah, that's that's what you know. That's that's what this question comes down to. Really, is preparation. Um, you know, it's a good question, and it's it's always you know good to ask these types of questions. But the like real answer is not should I eat something healthy or not. The real answer is you should have you know something on hand, some snacks, just like Jackie said. Um, I like a lot of beef jerky. Beef jerky is really good. It's high in sodium, so make sure you're drinking water. But it's easy to take anywhere. And um, you know, in addition to all the other snacks she mentioned. Okay, last question here. Warrior twelve sixteen says, "Hey Ryan, love your tips on building muscle. Why? Well, thank you. Just wanted to know how much muscle in pounds could I potentially gain during this summer if I stick to a workout routine and eat and." Uh, let's see it also if this helps I'm a beginner at lifting weights all right plus 30 so a lot of guys were I guess wondering about this um, you know it's really gonna vary uh, especially you know when you're newer you're gonna put on more mass quicker which is good and exciting to see you know to see those gains coming faster but I would just you know step back and caution you and say you know what it's not really something you should be too focused on or concerned about because it doesn't matter uh, instead of worrying about ahead of time oh how much am I gonna put on Go through, do what you've said here, and then see how much you put on. You know, because that's really what it comes down to is our individual response and what works for you. All right, hope that helps. All right, so you guys are getting extra treat. You know, normally I only do three questions, but because Jackie convinced me to uh, help you guys out and answer some more, we're going to do more nutrition stuff and, and let Jackie take the helm. So I'm not going to paste them. I'm just going to flip over here. And um, first question was from Gold Guy Three, and he said, "Hey Ryan, I was curious as to what are some good vegetables." to be focusing on and what is a waste. So I guess kind of are there some, in your opinion, some vegetables better than others in, in our arena here, which would be for like putting on muscle mass or just helping burn fat or something like that, what would your intake be? Well, in terms of putting on muscle mass, you're not really going to gain too much with vegetables, really, because vegetables don't really have a whole lot of protein. Mm -hmm. um, but it does um, give you a lot of antioxidants and fiber. So you want to choose the vegetables that are really, really colorful. So instead of iceberg lettuce, choose a darker leafy green, um, like spinach or kale. Um, and then, um, you know, choose, you know, carrots and eggplant, you know, things that have lots of color, lots of color. have lots of antioxidants That's in cool. them. That's cool. That's a good tip. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 
And last year I have Jared says, Hey Ryan, I'm a student and trying to put on muscle size. However, at times I struggle to afford the amount of food required to put on weight. What are some cheap ways to get a good amount of protein and carbs in my diet? Thanks a lot. Your videos are extremely helpful. You're welcome. Jackie, what are some, uh, what would your in, in, uh, suggestions be on some good kind of economical or budget friendly sources of protein or and carbs? So I think that beans are a great source of protein and they're very mm -hmm. cheap. You can buy canned beans. Um, just make sure you rinse them because that liquid that it's sitting in mm -hmm. um, has quite a bit of sodium in it. Okay. Um, so that's a really great cheap source of protein okay. and uh, nuts you can get them in the bulk section in some grocery stores or health food yeah. stores just also make sure they're unsalted mm -hmm. again because we're you know we don't want to have too much sodium in our diet especially if we're really trying to um, stay hydrated and then another good source of protein is um, you know just good old chicken breasts yeah um, and you can find them for pretty cheap at a lot of grocery stores yeah, and like and like I guess probably deli meat chicken too, right? I guess would that be some sure. you know easy budget? Yeah, so those are some great uh, some great tips. Thank you for that, and thank you for taking okay. time out and uh, talking to the guys here. I think they're gonna appreciate some of the tips. Thanks. Uh, the winner this week was Warrior Twelve Sixteen. You're the winner, man. Put the comment um, in the comment box below so that I know you saw this video, and I'll get you squared away with my eighty twenty course. Everybody else, put your comments in for next week. We'll get to that. Have a good week. Work out hard. I'll see you then.